How can you change the speed of your centrifugal fan? If you have a belt-driven fan, like the one we're standing next to, there are two primary methods you can use for changing the speed of your fan. Your belt drive is set up to give you a constant running speed. Your motor is likely plugged into a 60 hertz frequency if you're in the United States. And so if you don't have a variable frequency drive on the motor, your way of dealing with a speed change would be through your belt drive. If you do have your motor on a variable frequency drive, you can just adjust the frequency input to the motor to either go over 60 hertz or under 60 hertz to increase or decrease your speed. So let's say, hypothetically, that this fan is set up to run at 1200 RPM and this motor is an 1800 RPM motor. So originally you would have a two to three shiv ratio. Your smaller shiv would be on the motor and your larger shiv would be on the fan to reduce the speed of the fan to 1200 RPM from an 18 RPM driven motor. Let's say you want to increase your speed from 1200 to 1500 RPM and you want to do it through the belt drive. You would have to change your shiv ratio to be a five to six shiv ratio. So you'd have to go from your two to three to a five to six. And so again, your smaller, your five to six ratio would be on the motor and your larger of that five to six ratio would be on the fan. And that would increase your speed from 1200 RPM to 1500 RPM. Let's say you want to make that same change, but you want to do it through a variable frequency drive and you don't want to change your belt drive. If you do it through a variable frequency drive, you need to change by the ratio of the new speed you want to get to from the speed that you were at originally. So you'd have to increase your V-belt, or I'm sorry, your frequency by a five to four ratio. So now that we've addressed how to change speed on a belt drive fan, let's head over and talk about how to do it on a direct drive fan. So on this direct drive arrangement four fan, your motor shaft is directly connected to the fan wheel. So the fan wheel will run at exactly the speed of the motor. And so if you don't have a, var a variable frequency drive, there's no way to adjust this speed if you're on a hard start or a soft start connection. But if you are connected through a variable frequency drive, you can adjust this speed either above 60 hertz or below 60 hertz by adjusting your variable frequency drive. So in this case, we have an 1800 RPM motor. Let's say we wanted to go from 1800 RPM to 2000 RPM. You'd have to adjust it by a 10 to 9 ratio to go up from 1800 RPM to 2000 RPM. 